Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I am taking a look at the Advent devotional kit from By the Will for God. This is His Name Will Be. And first off, I just want to apologize if you can hear my dishwasher in the background. That's just real life, guys. <laughs> I'm a mom and a wife and I stay at home. That is my main jobs and so that includes running the dishwasher. So just sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, Let's take a look at this kit. So this kit is no longer available for pre-sale but it is available currently for sale and is shipping out. Um, and I mentioned that because with uh, Lori's pre-sales, you can get some of the stamp sets at a discounted price, but that's already passed. So make sure you sign up for her email list. I will have that link down below. That way you can be notified when her new kits come out and that way you can grab um, the new stamp sets and things when they are discounted. But you can still get everything. Everything is shipping. And if you order now, you should still get things hopefully in time for the start of Advent um, or you won't be too far behind if you order now. So um, with the holiday, I was a little late getting my kit, but that's okay. It gave me a chance to get some other stuff off my desk and ready to show you guys this kit. So uh, if you've never ordered from Lori before, first off, I don't know why. <laughs> because she is amazing, um, but the attention to detail. So I don't usually show like everything all packaged up. I usually pull it all out, but I did want to point out the packaging for this kit this month is so stinking adorable. She has this tissue paper. So everything was wrapped in this tissue paper and it's all these like sketchy trees and gold. I am saving this and using it in my December daily somehow. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to be using it. I don't usually save the tissue paper. I try not to hoard on to things like that, but this was so cute and it was wrapped in this gold tool with a little pin. I mean, how stinking adorable. So I am saving all this to use in my projects. And then you get all kinds of free goodies. So when you order from her, you get a little package of goodness here. This is in like in addition to what you're ordering. So you've got the little um, angel stamp. How cute is she? I get a lot of requests from people about having... Um, multicultural elements for their Bible journaling. And there isn't a whole lot out there, unfortunately. Um, but this is one of those pieces where she could really be any culture whatsoever, depending on how you paint her in and color her. So there's that really cute little angel. You get some die cut pieces. And here you can see that Lori does a good job of trying to include, you know, um, a variety of, you know, just little people. When she does people, she tries to really include a variety. So you've got all these adorable little angels. How cute are these little gingerbreads? So these are all just little bonus die cuts that you get when you order from her. Little gingerbread. How cute is that? Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, the church is so adorable. Some extra little tabbies and some clear stickers with angels. I have a note for me, but she always includes a handwritten note in her goodies. So that is super fun. Um, in my kit, she threw in an extra, I'm not sure that everybody gets this, maybe the first like 50 or so, 35, something like that may have gotten this. Um, this is the Delicata Gold um, ink pads. So if you'll remember when the Illustrating Bible came out, she sent out the Delicata Rose Gold. This is super, super pretty. I love this one. And so she also carries the Golden Glitz, I imagine, in full size also. And I was just looking for a gold stamp pad today to use, and I didn't have one. So I'm excited to check this out and use it. I love the Rose Gold. Um, so that's just some extra bonus stuff that she sends. It's so amazing when you order from her. So let's take a look at the kit. Again, it's his name will be, and this is going to be their advent kit. I know I've showed a lot of advent kits on my channel in the last week. And the reason I do that is so that everybody can kind of pick and choose what works for you, your style, what you're wanting to focus on this advent, the types of products that you're wanting to give you some choices, not because I think that you need to do all of it because <laughs> that would be crazy. Um, but just to give you some, some choices. So uh, Lori's kits always come with a whole bunch of goodies. Let's talk about the devotional content and that way we can then jump into the fun stuff and you'll kind of understand what it is. So um, this is the devotional booklet. Now typically her devotionals are 14 days and then you split it up by doing one day of devotion, the next day of journaling, and you get a full month out of it. Um, this particular one, she did a full 25 days. So this will take you all the way through Advent, 
Advent from December 1st to Christmas, December 25th. Um, so you do get some extra devotional content this month. So that is super awesome. And it's all about the name names of Jesus or names for Jesus. And, you know, of course there's going to be the ones that we all kind of no, but then there's some other ones like his name will be amen. His name will be faithful and true. His name will be messenger of the covenant. You know, just things like that that we are going to focus on. Her devotional content is always very, very thorough. Um, this one was written by Judy Allen. Judy Allen has written devotional content for um, By the Well for God before. And um, it's always really great content, very in-depth, tons of scripture reference, and then usually some prompts to kind of get you or some questions at the end to get you interacting with that devotional content. So uh, I'm excited to kind of dive in. Hopefully it'll be, you know, maybe some things that are familiar to, to you, but there, I always learn new things in these devotionals, even when they're topics that I feel like it's something I already am pretty familiar with. The team over at By the Will for God just comes up with such great content and I'm always learning something new. So even if you're not wanting to Bible journal and work with all the products, um, the devotionals are worth it to pick up and work through. So that is going to be the devotional. And then it comes with all kinds of fun goodies to kind of help you explore and play as you work through that devotional content. So you've got some fabric clippies if you're wanting to use those to bookmark your pages. And then this card usually has the name of the kit, which is his name will be. And then um, kind of the focus uh, Bible verse, which is Isaiah 9, 6, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I love that. I actually have a like garland that goes on my Christmas tree that's all the names of God, and I, that's one of the first things that goes on my tree. Love, love, love it. Love looking at that every day and just re being reminded of all the different um, names of God. So really enjoy that. Um, let's see, we've got die cut pieces and I got a little sneak peek of these. We were kind of talking back and forth about the pieces of the kit as she was putting it together. So I was super excited because they're so adorable. So you've got all of these little bears. How cute. And I love that it's non-traditional Christmas colors, which makes it kind of fresh and fun. There are pops of red. The green is this really bright green, but then there's like purples and this lime color that you just don't typically see with Christmas. So it kind of makes it fun. This little moose, llama. Every year my kids and I, we pick out a new uh, ornament for the tree and mine actually looks a lot like this. It's an alpaca with a scarf on. It's so funny. I didn't even know that that was in there. So that worked out. Little wagon and tree. You will see this repeated in some of the stamps later on. A little gift. So lots of purple and green. And if you do um, Advent candles, then you know that there's typically a purple Advent candle. So purple is really a prominent color actually for Christmas and Advent, um, but doesn't get used very often in traditional Christmas. So I like that she included that. Little sleigh. Lots of little gifts. How cute are these? We'll be talking about the gift of Jesus. Love that. All these little fun packages. And then she includes some tabs. I like to cut these ones down in half. That way I get twice as many tabs. And then a piece of felt. So this will be fun to maybe die cut something out of it. If you have a die cutting machine, maybe cut some letters out. You could spell the word God or Jesus or something like that and then cut it out of the felt and have some texture. So that is really kind of a fun um, element to have in there. So there are all the die cut pieces. And I like that they're a good size for fitting in your smaller regular journaling Bible margins, but they will also work in the large illustrating Bible as well. They're a good size. You've got your um, sticker with the kit name. So if you're somebody who keeps track of the different devotional kits you're working on in the front of your Bible by placing the stickers in there, you know, Illustrated Faith has had their um, kit stickers for a while. Um, this you can add right in there or you can use it as part of an entry or maybe your kiddos want to snag it. That's usually what happens to mine. <laughs> You get two little flare pieces. This one says the Lord is my portion. It's got that little llama or alpaca. And then wall of fire. And these are little buttons. So I like to attach mine to the tops of my um, ribbon markers on, you know, in my Bible, but you can also attach them to the front of your Bible bag if you've got a um, 
like fabric Bible bag or you know something like that. That's really really cute. Okay, let's see here. We've got clear stickers. You got three sheets of clear stickers. Uh, you've got the washi strips. So now these aren't actual washi paper, so they don't tear like washi strips. I just use my scissors to kind of wiggle them to give them a torn look. But I love that you get, you know, six different patterns rather than just one roll of washi. And I like to kind of cut these in half or quarters so I can get little strips out of it and get a lot of use out of the pieces that are in here. You've got a whole bunch of words, and these are going to be some of the names that we see throughout the um, devotional, this really pretty wreath. These are all printed on clear label paper, so these can be stuck down over the text, and you should still be able to see the text. However, some of these with the black, you may have a harder time reading the text through, but something like this, you should be able to still see your Bible text. And don't be afraid to use, you know, this part too. So this part at the top here isn't an actual sticker, it's the name of the kit, but you can cut that out and use that as a sticker too, um, maybe as a title starter or something like that. So make sure you use up every little bit. Here are some more clear stickers. Again, that little llama. I don't know what, how do you tell the difference between a llama and alpaca? Like I know one's bigger than the other, but when you just see one by itself, how do you tell? I'm sure one of you out there is an expert on llamas and alpacas and will leave a comment down below and tell me how to tell the difference. You got your little family of bears, little lights, Really, really fun. I, again, I love the colors, really fresh and different from everything else that's out there. You've got your tippins or bookmarks. So these are sized to fit in a two inch um, journaling Bible margin if you wanted to just place it directly down into the margin. Or you could create like a tip, you know, a tip in out of it if you wanted to adhere, you know, washi tape to one side, use it as a bookmarker as you work through your devotional, something like that. Um, so you've got some of the names of God and then on the back, um, scripture. It looks like these are all ESV translation, which I, I appreciate. That's the translation I work out of. Really, really pretty. All right, you've got your sheet of alpha stickers, and these are super cute. It's like a plaid pattern in that lime green. And so you've got plenty of each letter and some punctuation. And this is thinner than a cardstock sticker, which I appreciate. So they stick really well, and they don't add a lot of bulk to your pages. You've got the four by six clear stamp set and you've got your little family of bears. You've got this big piece, his name will be. This is a piece that you can use again and again for each entry if you wanted to. And then you've got a couple um, names. You've got Alpha and Omega and Cornerstone. Really cute, love those little bears. They're so adorable. And then this is something that's very unique to Buy the Well for God's kits. And these are the Daniel Smith Swatch cards. And so what this is, is watercolor, tube watercolor that has been squeezed out onto the card and let to dry. And then all you have to do is use a wet paintbrush to activate it. And then you've got plenty of paint here to work with as you go through the devotional. And Lori posted on Instagram that she was working with her husband to squeeze as many in here as possible. You usually get five or six. This month you get eight. So she actually utilized one of the um, wheels of the wagon for the gold. I love some of the specialty watercolors from um, Daniel Smith. Their duochromes are super pretty, especially for painting over like a dark background, like blacks or things like that. I love the Primatech line, um, so the Serpentine Genuine, the, this one is so, so pretty. So they just have some beautiful, beautiful colors. I didn't swatch these out ahead of time, um, but all you do is just take a wet paintbrush and go in there and pick up some pigment. So you've got plenty of paints and she's color coordinated them to match the kit. So there is a look at everything that comes in the kit. Again, I will have that link down below. That is an affiliate link, just heads up. And it was sent to me for review, but I've always loved Lori's kits. I try to pop in as often as I can and show them on my channel. Um, Advent's gonna be a little bit crazy because as you guys have seen, there's so much product out there. So I may only get one or two entries up on my channel, um, just so you know, but this would be a great one to pick up and work through if you're looking for something. Um, especially since the Illustrated Faith Kit is 
already sold out. So if you didn't get that one or you know something happened, you can grab this one and work through this one. Okay, let's talk about some of the extra things that you can get um, that coordinate and go along with this kit or that or new releases. So if you didn't realize, Lori, gosh, this woman creates so much content. She puts out new stamp sets every single month in addition to the kit. And so these are some of the new stamp sets that have been released. And then here are some mini stamps that have been released. Um, let's take a look at the mini ones. And these will actually coordinate with the Illustrated Faith um, Grace and Gratitude Kit 2. It's got some of the same, like, similar uh, illustrations. So if you got that kit, you may want to take a look at these stamps because they will match. So you've got five different snow globes. I love this one with the church, and it says Holy Night. So I'm going to link a video down below. I did it um, for the Encouragement Dare, showing how to make little cards of encouragement using the By the Well for God small stamp sets. I'll link that down below. And these would be fun to create gift tags with or um, place settings for your dinner table for Christmas, all kinds of fun things. I will try to put together a fun little extra video in the next couple weeks showing some creative like decor ways to use these. Oh my gosh, maybe making some ornaments. Okay, guys, you will for sure see <laughs> these on my channel again. I'm envisioning stamping these on wood slices with stays on ink and making ornaments out of them. So I will see if I can put that together and show you guys that. But like how cute is the little penguin, little bird, little deer, the moon and stars. Love that. So go check those out. And then here are the five new stamp sets. So take a look at these. First here we've got Shiloh that's got all of these words. I believe these are probably going to be other names of God. So if you are somebody who really likes to stamp and you want some additional stamps in addition to what comes in with the kit, you've got this one here. I love the font of this. You've got Light of the World with that llama slash alpaca. <laughs> I'm sure one of you will correct me. Uh, and the Light of the World, so a little lantern, Wall of Fire, Man of Sorrows, and this one here with the sleigh, and this one's got snowflakes and holly berries and the string of lights, messenger of the covenant. So these are some, you know, things that you can use again and again. Some of these words, you know, of course are going to show up in the Bible again and again. Um, but don't be afraid to pick up, you know, invest in some Christmas ones and then use them each year. Uh, so that's kind of nice. So there's those three. And then you've got these two. You've got branch with this cute little moose and these pine cones word branch. You've got this um, tree piece. I imagine branch is probably going to be one of the names of God in there. And the little string of lanterns. Those are super cute. The moose is adorable. And then Prince of Peace, you've got the bunny little wagon. So you can stick the gifts in the wagon or the bunny in the wagon. That's really cute. I love that. The mittens. Fun, fun, fun. So those are the five new stamp sets that you can pick up to coordinate with. And then she also comes out with additional alpha stickers that coordinate with um, the kit. So you've got the clearer stickers. You get seven different colors that all match the kit. So if you are more into stickers than stamping, if you need extra alpha stickers for doing titles and things like that, you've got the clear stickers set of seven. And then the tile alphas set of five. Tile alphas are my favorite. I love these. And you've got these five that match, again, the colors of the kit. So there you go. So you can pick up those as well to go with the kit. So I will have everything linked down below for you guys so you can check all of that out, all of this yumminess. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below for me. Check out the description box for links to everything that I mentioned. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.